What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more gear blocks and today we're just hanging out. I've uh, made a chain, which I thought was pretty cool, but no, I wanted to try and, and do something a little bit different and uh, I wanted to work on a chain because I feel like having ropes would be really, really cool. So I connected a bunch of ball joints together and it actually works kind of well, although it seems to generate infinite momentum, which is interesting. Um, it doesn't ever stop swaying, so I feel like we can make a perpetual motion machine. But I wanted to do this because I want to try and make a, a tense and gritty structure, a tense and gritty structure. It's one of those structures that's held up by ropes and seems to sort of defy gravity, where it looks like the structure should collapse, but in fact it uses a series of ropes under tension, as well as a couple of members under compression. And by doing that, we can make a structure. I'll throw a bunch up on the screen. They're kind of cool. There's all sorts of examples of them in real life, and they all have different shapes and stuff. And uh, there's all sorts of cool things we do. So I built a rope. And, uh, you know, we're going to try and make a structure that supports itself only with ropes. I also made a really long rope. Um, just for curiosity's sake. Yeah. So that happens. Good news is the game fixes itself when that does. The creation will be somewhere on the ground. But needless to say, this rope length here, the one that I've got, seems to be the limit uh, of what you can do. Now, you could make ropes that are actually more like chains, like, for example, the tank track chains that I did. But the reason why I like this rope in particular is I made it of only two parts. Uh, basically, we made it of ball joints and ball sockets. And by doing that, it has freedom of movement in every direction, right? So if we rotate this, uh, each one of those joints can bend and swivel. They can only bend so much, unfortunately. So each segment can only bend, you know, 45 degrees or so. But you can see they do have freedom of motion. Even this rope, you can see, is almost at the limit of where it starts to freak out, you'll notice. Like, the connections will pull apart and get all freaky. Just unity problems, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, so we've got a rope now, so I think we could make a tense and gritty structure with this. And and maybe maybe it'll work? I don't know. We're gonna find out. So anyway, let's go, uh, let's go try that. So, how these structures work, they're actually really cool in engineering, and I've never built one before. You could probably build one, well, maybe a scrap mechanic, although scrap mechanic doesn't really have ropes. But the idea is that as long as you have a series of members under tension with another series of members under compression, then the forces will balance each other out and the whole member can like hold itself upright. So I'm going to try and build one that's sort of, um, you know, done, I guess, with like right angled pieces. But essentially we need an identical top and bottom piece that have to be mirrored and then hanging from like each other. So for example, this is, this is 15. Um, yeah, so let's do, let's go, I don't know, let's go maybe 17, 19 wide, something like that, and then we'll go up 15, and then if we're 19 wide, we'll go down to, like, what, somewhere in the middle is 8, 9? Alright, so that should be our base, and then theoretically, all we have to do to actually make this work is flip this over 180 degrees on itself, and then connect four chains in each of these corners, and one chain in the middle, here now we're gonna have to put pistons on it somewhere either we're gonna need pistons on the middle chain or we're gonna need pistons on all four corner chains because we have to tension the whole thing for it to work the chains have to be under tension if they're loose and there's no tension applied to them then they won't actually you know support the structure right so ideally we need probably to tension all four of the outer ones and then let the inner one kind of stretch against that tension so what i'm gonna try and do first is I guess we could take let's just save this as just like a, a sample you know literally call it like one 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 so it appears at the very beginning of the list and then we'll spawn another version of that right and ideally this needs to be like this and we need to chain that oh, oh oh no let me undo that there we go we need to chain this up so let's grab those chain parts again and we're gonna do this with just a few of them so we'll do uh we need a socket like that and then we need the ball and axle. I really hope this works. Like, it, it'll be really cool if it does. But what I'm kind of worried about is that the chain, once we apply tension to it, is sort of going to collapse with, like, you know, Unity physics problems. But let's see. So we got to grab that. And then we grab this. Duplicate that again. Put that in there. We got to do it with at least, like, a couple segments, you know. Perfect. I think that's good. So, theoretically, we could put, um, I guess we should put a plate on the top. I don't really care to have a plate on the bottom, but we're trying to make this into a table. I really want to buy one of these in real life. You could actually buy them as like a coffee table or something or an end table. And they work. Like, it, you know, it's all obviously it work. It's a real life thing. It's tension and compression. But essentially, the load of this, so like the tension of this should support the whole table weight. 
And then the members in the corners, what they're going to do is when we try and shift the table to the left or the right, as they're under tension, it doesn't allow them to stretch. So example, if, if this table is like hitting, sitting straight and we try and shift it to the left, in order or, or shift to the right sorry the member on the left here this rope on the left if it's under tension it would have to pull like it would have to stretch and if it can't stretch which this is what worries me because in unity everything can stretch but if it couldn't stretch then theoretically it would keep this table upright and uh and vice versa so i i don't know let's, let's, let's put some members on we could probably do it can i do it with suspension no because it's got to be I think it's got to be done with pistons because we just have to tighten it up. Like, I think even if we try and do it with suspension, I don't think that's going to work. No. So we're going to do it with pistons. That's fine. It's actually going to be really, really easy to do. So we're just going to grab um, some socket and axles again like this. Shorten these up. And we'll put a piston in each corner. I We're going to have to be so careful with how uh, much tension we apply to the pistons. But anyway, that's that's another problem in and of itself. If this works, it's going to be super, super cool. I really hope it does, and we can walk around on the table and have it actually support itself. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. It, it was just something I was randomly browsing on YouTube the other day, and I was like, tents and gritty structures, I totally forgot they exist. And I've never tried to build one in Scrap Mechanic, which, like, probably could be done. Is that not... There we go. Perfect. But, uh, you know, again, in Scrap Mechanic, we don't really have ropes. We just sort of have a ropes mod, which is very, very loose, and they're kind of like rubber bands. They don't really work. And trying to build a chain out of, you know, bearings or something doesn't really work in that game either. So it's kind of different. Uh, whereas in this, we have ball joints that very conveniently form ropes. So we're just going to do a very small linear actuator. It only will pull one block, but I don't even think we need to pull one block because the whole thing is going to be already at the right distance. So we're just going to apply a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of tension uh, with each of these and hope that that's enough to keep the structure upright all right i think i figured out the settings i uh yeah it had to be basically at min extension like 0.4 max extension 0.5 at invert direction so now if we freeze it and then unfreeze it it sits at that 0.5 level because the piston could technically go out from here you can see like it's halfway already in the total you know it can go out all the way until the very end anyway it doesn't matter and now it goes down wait hold on yeah now i can go up or down uh and i can tension it but there so we press one we can go down a little bit and apply some tension perfect and that should be you know 10 steps it should be enough all right so let's copy these settings copy you thank you perfect and then let's paste these all around here uh perfect and then let's make the rest of the chains and just see if this structure can in fact support itself so we've got pins in the top and bottom we'll leave that for now we just got to build a chain piece so let me just grab this over here and grab that and then we're just going to basically make a chain that's sort of long enough to go the whole way up. Just like that. So that should hold that corner. Oh, I, the more I look at this, the less I feel this is going to work. But anyway, let's just we're just going to go to the next corner now. I know I could copy and paste the whole chain and delete it, but honestly, it's not that long. So I'm just going to grab all the parts I need and just sort of build each chain section by section it's not you know we could just like you know break that chain off and duplicate it and whatever it's not a huge deal to just do it this way either if it was a really long chain when i built that really really long chain absolutely i copied and pasted it a bunch of times but like you know this is this is fine but yeah i'm i'm very worried that as soon as we remove the pins this is going to collapse in a horrible way even under tension but hey you know what it's worth a try i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna hope it works i really am these aren't very long these chains and maybe, worst case scenario, we could shorten these the length of these members a bit and bring these chains down a little bit in length, and maybe that would help. I don't know. Can't wait to see what happens here. All right. That is finished. I'm gonna delete these extra pieces. Let's uh, save this really quick. And uh, you know what? We should probably turn off. I don't think it's gonna matter, but let's let's... Let's just try this. I don't know. Let's see what this does. We're gonna we're gonna turn off collisions. I'll keep the bottom pinned. Oh, you know what? Let's not. Let's not have anything pinned. Let's just remove all that. We'll grab this. Oh boy. Here's the moment of truth. Is it going to work without any tension? That was devastatingly terrible. That, like, is, 
Is it because it's under, like, is it, it's because it's collisions? It's because it's not invincible? Really? The whole, the whole, the whole structure just fall, like, I mean, that's why we save stuff. But I made it not invincible and it just, really? It, that, it just collapsed under its own... That's interesting. I don't really know how that happened. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna leave it invincible. Let's unpin it. Oh my god, it works. <laughs> That's so good. Oh man, physics. I just, I, okay, okay. They're actually loose members too. So hold on, if I push the top. Yeah, see, you can push the top and it'll shift around. But because the, you don't even need the pistons, really. Okay, let's, let's try, I'll try tensioning the pistons. I'll press 1. If we tension the pistons, yeah, so you can see it, it makes the middle freak out. But in real life, the way this works is if you have the tension on the outer members is higher, then the top table will shimmy less. But the table can still be moved horizontally, like it can move, be moved in a lateral plane, but it can't be moved up and down. And it can't tilt. So, you know, like if we if we push this, if we push this table... Am I, I'm, I think I'm tipping the whole table though, I'm not, like I'm tipping the base with it. Yeah, I'm taking the base with it. I have to, hold on, we need to make a really heavy, heavy lead base. I can't believe this works. This is so cool. So if we make this bottom one out of lead, because it's nice and heavy, right? Now if I shove the table, it shouldn't move. Yeah, see, it doesn't move up and down. Right? If the base doesn't move, it doesn't move up and down. It just shifts laterally. Because it's floating on ropes. That's so good! Oh, man, physics is so cool. This is why I went into engineering, because, like, stuff like this is just, it just, it, your brain goes, this shouldn't work. Like, your brain by default goes, this shouldn't work. And then you understand the physics behind it, and you say, yes, it makes sense why it works, but it's still, your brain goes, those are four, they're, they're five floppy ropes, right? Like, you're holding a table up with floppy ropes. How is it possible that the ropes are floppy and yet the table doesn't move and it's it's because they're they're you know this this rope is under tension these ropes are under tension and these are under compression this member here is under compression and this member here is under compression and because these two members are under compression the compression forces oppose the tension forces and the whole thing balances out and becomes a wonderful system that sits at equilibrium and physics is is very happy with equilibrium physics loves equilibrium and uh, and all the little side movements are just accounted for by those side ropes. This is unbelievably cool how easily this works. Like, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually blown away by this. I you know I didn't think it was gonna work. I'm gonna make this out of steel. Something's not as gross as lead and then we can paint it. But yeah I, I did not actually think this was gonna work. I thought it was gonna do what that one did. So hold on now that this one's balanced let me let me try something. Maybe we can uh let's let's paint this the steel let's paint this all white. There we go. I just want it to be nice and nice and bright so it contrasts everything. That's wonderful. I it's so it's so nice. It's so smooth. Wait, hold on. I'm flying right out. Can I get out and just stand on this? Yep. Nope. Kind of. Kind of. We can kind of stand on it. It uh it has some load bearing issues. Let's uh let me let me yeah, let me grab you. Excuse me. Yeah, I know. Oh right, wrong tool. There we go. Let me flip you over again. Yeah, let's just let's just put you down. Okay, what if I tension it up a little bit? Does that maybe help? You see, as I tension it, like I'm t every time I tap one or two, right? I'm going through the steps. You can see that middle the middle chain sort of start to freak out. Maybe maybe that'll help. Okay, it's not bad. It, it is it is holding. I can't really zoom out enough. You can see that middle chain's kind of freaking out. What if I walk over here? Can I? No, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't like the lateral forces so much. We don't have the side members under high enough tension. Oh boy. It might not come back this time. Alright. Well that's that is that is super cool. I mean that is that is really cool. Like that is I don't even I don't even have anything else to say. I just love I love these structures. I, now I want to go buy one of these as a coffee table, honestly. Like as an end table, you know, one of the you can buy one. I'm looking at it right now online for like 40 bucks. I can buy one of these that I build as a table. It's not like huge, 
it only fits like you know a book or a coffee mug or something but i mean it's pretty cool you put it it seems like it's like a table you put on your coffee table not like a you know a coffee table size although the principle is technically the same like there are large versions of these there's bridges that use this principle and like make entire suspension bridges that float with this kind of stuff so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below this was just one of those products i had to try uh because you know we can build this kind of stuff in gear blocks and it's just super cool how this all works and uh can we not oh right because i press two i uh, press one every time i press one that's right i'm tensioning it up a little bit this is this is wicked cool this honestly kind of makes me want to build a suspension bridge now gear blocks i know there's no reason for us to build a suspension bridge but it would be kind of cool to build a suspension bridge for like you know just to have a really big suspension we need a bigger cable though because if we made these into cables they would be they would probably explode but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time. All right, we're actually not done yet. Because as I was looking at a lot of pictures for these structures, I, I was in the middle of editing and I was like, wait a minute. A lot of them don't actually have these two front chains. They only, you only need the back two chains, apparently. Because you can hold it in three dimensions. Because you have all three in a triangle here. And those three points hold it from moving in all three dimensions apparently and we don't these like, these two trains are redundant we can have them but we don't actually need them that that that's what i'm pretty sure so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try that we're gonna delete these two and see if this whole thing will hold itself up without these two front chains and if it does i'm probably gonna be a little blown away because that would be actually amazing if this if this works because now it's gonna look even more ridiculous if this holds up I don't know if it's going to. Let's find out. Okay. 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 Hold on. We might... Might have to not drop it. Because everything is under tension. And we all know that Unity doesn't like tension. So maybe now we're putting a little bit of extra weight on the uh you know on the rear pieces there so maybe that let's let's drop it maybe a little less distance okay well that was an interesting interesting it flops we might need a little bit of tension no you know what in in the case of gear blocks maybe let's delete a little bit of weight off the top but in the case of gear blocks this might not be it might not be redundant. We might need those front. There we go. It just needs a little bit less weight on the top. And you have to like immediately put the two back chains under tension. You can see I'm pressing one. We're stepping those motors down to that point one value. Hold on, actually. Hold on a minute. I can fix this. We can just put a plate on the top. Right? Perfect. And then we take our motors. So we'll put our plate back because we want to want to have a table. You know, you want to be able to actually store something on it. But we basically need instantaneous tension on those back two ropes, or else it doesn't do anything. So instead of this going to minimum 0.4, max 0.5, we're gonna go max point or max and min both 0.4. So right away it should just instantly go to 0.4 of an extension, which should do it. And let's see if this works. Unfreeze. No, unfreeze. There we go. That is unbelievable. I mean, I don't think this is going to hold any weight. The other one we kind of stood on with the four and it still freaked out. This is, there's no way, but I can't believe this works. That is just, that is the dumbest looking thing ever. That shouldn't work. It is swaying. I feel like we've got a little bit of slack. The thing with these structures is these these cables have to be under tension for this whole thing to work. And unfortunately, I think with this setup, the more tension we put these under, Unity explodes. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This was, I was, it was just in the middle of editing. I'm going to go back to editing this video. But I figured, you know, I should record a little clip because I knew someone in the comments was going to be like, Con, you don't need the front two ropes. And you know what? You're right. We don't need the front two ropes. We only need the back two. And that is the craziest thing I have ever seen. You know what's funny is we're on a sloped hill, but I'm pretty sure this, like, plane levels itself with the hill. Or does it? No, I can't tell. They don't... I'm not sure. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Love this.
This is this is one of the coolest things I've ever built. Okay, I'm gonna go back to editing now. You guys are the best. We'll see y'all later.